So I currently usually start my day around 3 or 4 in the afternoon. Yeah, I know that's late, but I work in 24-hour news, and right now I'm on the night shift. They weren't kidding when they said New York City is a city that never sleeps. Since I work at night, I try to keep busy until I go into work. But first things first, I always start my day with coffee. I use a mocha pot to make my coffee because I lived in Europe and I'm a man of culture. No, I'm just kidding. It's just convenient for making a single cup of coffee. As I have my coffee, I try to do something productive like read a book or journaling, but sometimes I just end up messing around on my phone. After my coffee, I'll usually go for a walk. Or the bathroom. Let's show the walk. I thought the hustle and bustle of the big city would automatically make me New York hot, but working in an office environment does take its toll, so I try to purposefully insert more activity in my day by going for a walk when I can. When I first got to the city, I would kind of just walk city blocks endlessly to get my walks in, so I was really glad when I found this park close to my apartment along Harlem River. Even though it ends short and I have to walk in a construction zone. This city has more than its fair share of negatives, but outdoor recreation spaces is definitely something New York City has going for it. It's nice that you can live anywhere in the city and have a basketball court or a calisthenics park within walking distance. In this city, you have to take what you can get. After my walk, I start my actual workout. I'm lucky enough to have a spare room in my apartment that we use as a home gym slash office, so I've gotten into the habit of working out at home. I save a lot of time because I'm not walking to and from the gym, and it's a lot easier to fit in a workout that way. I really have no excuse to miss a workout. Lately, I've been mostly doing bodyweight exercises or calisthenics. I feel like really dips, pull-ups, and push-ups are enough to maintain the muscle that I already have, and I'm not really looking to gain any muscle right now. So this works for me. For a while last year, I was only focused on getting stronger in the gym, and I saw some big gains. Within a few months, I hit PRs on every lift, and I finally benched 225 pounds, or two plates, so I can say that I do, in fact, lift, bro. But I got a bit bulkier than I like to be, so currently I'm trying to eat healthy and increase my cardio to lean down a bit. So instead of lifting barbells off my chest, I lift myself off the ground. This is a chest and back workout that I just kind of made up, but it does the trick. I always superset between movements to save time and keep my heart rate up. In the past, when I've done a lot of like supersets or circuit style calisthenics combined with a good amount of cardio, I've gotten the leanest I've ever been, so I know this style of training works for me. After I work out, I have a meal. All right, so I'm about to prepare my first meal of the day. Uh, I usually eat pretty late. I put off eating until after I work out or even until after I get into the office. I guess I do a form of intermittent fasting, but right now I'm gonna prepare my first meal of the day. It's uh, nine o'clock right now. I guess this would be my breakfast. So I got this light set up here and I got my camera set up here. I'm going to make a staple food of mine for you guys chicken stir fry. I've made this recipe so many times I can just about eyeball everything. I use about half of a medium sized onion, roughly diced. Then I usually add one or two carrots, but I didn't have any full sized carrots this day, so I used baby carrots. Luckily I always keep that thing on me, and that thing in this case being um, baby carrots. You think that might be enough carrots? What? So after that is chopped up, I add the broccoli. I like to add a lot of broccoli. This dish is great because it's basically just the classic bodybuilding meal of chicken, broccoli, and rice. But if you call it a stir fry, it's a little bit more interesting. I also add about four or five cloves of garlic. I'm sure there's a better way to chop it or dice it finely, but this is how I do it. So once the veggies are all chopped up, I cut up the chicken. I use one chicken breast, so however big that is, I really don't measure it. Some nonstick goes in the pan, and then I add the chicken. Make sure to use high heat because it's a stir fry, not a stir simmer. You can thank my dad for that joke. 
After the chicken is cooked, I remove it from the pan and then I add one tablespoon of olive oil and I add in the vegetables. Once the veggies are browned, I add in the chicken and one cup of white rice. I add a little bit of water to deglaze and soften up the vegetables. And then to finish it off, I add about one tablespoon of soy sauce, ginger powder, and black pepper. All right, so let's give it a try, shall we? It's good. It tastes like every single time I've ever made it. I'm gonna save you guys from watching me eat this. Let's just cut to me going to work. I pitch wisdom for the kids them Solid as a prism keeps a funky rhythm If I want it, I go and get it My blood thicker than water We up like a zip of my jeans Seems got ashes from the plane I'm elevating and crashing in the bed But instead I hit my rooftop And watch the world go penning this shit inside my journal I live in Upper Harlem And my office is in Midtown Manhattan So my commute on a bicycle is about 30 to 40 minutes my company actually offers up to $75 a day for Ubers to and from work, but as I'm trying to increase my cardio, like I said earlier, riding my bike to work forces me to do it, and it actually makes me more productive in the office because nobody wants to distract me with conversation due to the BO and sweat stains. If I'm running late like I was today, I'll cut through Central Park to avoid traffic. But if I go this way, there is one big, obstacle. The infamous Harlem Hill is an 84 foot climb that runs almost half a mile. I had to climb this hill multiple times to set up these shots you're about to see, so if you could leave a like and subscribe, my quads will thank you. So if I were to sum up my internal monologue while I'm climbing this hill, it would probably be something a little bit like this. Alright this isn't so bad. This is just an ant hill, a speed bump. Alright starting to get a little harder. Come on come on lactic acid doesn't exist lactic acid doesn't exist. This hill ain't nothing I'm king of the high oh god lactic acid exists. No no it doesn't come on yes almost there let's go a little further. Finally. Well that's the good thing about going uphill is now I get to go down. Gets to next hill. Are you serious is this all uphill? The first thing I do when I get into the office is make myself a coffee. The first of several along with tea and snacks. When you're on overnights, caffeine becomes your best friend because you don't see any of your real friends. At least the coffee and snacks are free in my office. To be honest, the snacks are pretty fire, so I'll grab a few as I work throughout the night. I mean, let's face it, that's why I really went to college and got a degree, so I could one day get to work in an office with free snacks and air conditioning. My coffee is made, so let's get to work. 